Warning, if you eat this cheese, you may end up shaking your booty. Shake your booty, shake your booty, shake your booty. All right, good Sunday evening and welcome back to Gouda Goals. I'm excited for this episode. This is our first episode that our uh, Canon T7i we're going to break out and use, so hopefully you enjoy the quality a little bit better. Hmm, new camera, eh? Hmm. Canon. Canon camera, eh? Um, last week I told you that we were going to do an Armenian cheese, and here it is. This is an Armenian string cheese, packed up like this. Here is our Armenian string cheese up close. That's what it looks like. I kind of twist in it. This is made from um, cow's milk. It's a, it's a skim milk it looks like. There's no uh, artificial flavors or preservatives in this. Everything's all natural. Um, and I'm guessing if I took it out of the package, it would probably stretch out away. It's, it's clustered up in there pretty good. But it's got eight servings in this container, it says. So, there's actually a recipe on the back of this thing that I might try out. It's a pita and string cheese melt. So preheat the oven to 350. String the cheese into sections. Cut pita bread in half. Stuff each pita pocket with approximately two ounces of string cheese. Place pita pocket entree and insert into oven. Bake for 10 minutes or until cheese is melted and pita is lightly toasted. Voila, you have a delicious, healthy, low-fat sandwich. Add slice of tomato, cucumber, or your favorite lunch meat for variation. We're going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to try that. I don't know if I have pita uh, bread, but I might go pick some up. <clears throat> but that's kind of fun that there's actually a recipe on the back of this. So I'm excited to try this. This was brought to me by Miss Ani from work. Thank you, Ani. Um, she had tried this, she found it in Fayetteville, and thought I'd like to do a review on it, and so here I am fixing to do a review on it. So, let's cut into it, shall we? Here it is, up close. And if you see, there's little black seeds in it, if the camera will focus. Sorry, I'm still learning it. So, those are... Those are black nigella seeds, or however you pronounce that, if you see those in there. And it, it is a serious string cheese. Whenever I ripped it off, I mean, you could see just the threads in it. it smells really good. It smells like pizza. <laughs> so, let's give it a try. So, I'm kind of getting a spicy note off of this, which is really cool. I wonder if that's the seeds. It's textured almost like a mozzarella, which is why I kind of I got that pizza smell off of it. Mmm, pretty tasty. I'm trying to describe... The texture, it's a, it's really soft. It's like a hot mozzarella cheese, spicy hot. Um, it's really good. Thank you, Ani. This is delicious. See how you can see the little strings coming off of that? 
so it makes it easier to break apart. I've never had a cheese like this before. It's really good. She picked it up in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Not 100% sure where she picked it up. Um, could have been like Whole Foods or something. I'll ask her and I'll put it in the comments below. But you guys have got to try this. This is really good. So I did a little research and the Nigella seeds that are in this come from a plant that is called, um, let's see, Love in a Mist. And it's used in a lot of Indian type cooking and it's in the same uh, family um, of seed as like dill and um, parsley and what did it say? And caraway. And they said a good substitute is cumin seed because it gives that peppery nutty taste. Which, so that's why we get a peppery taste out of it is from that seed. Which, I mean, it's a perfect addition to this. But definitely a good cheese. Once again, Armenian string cheese. If you ever find this stuff, pick some of it up because um, it's darn good. If you have a favorite string cheese, comment in um, the comments below and uh, I want to try them. I like different kinds of string cheese. It's fun to take, just throw it in a bag, take it to the, the beach or the pool or wherever. It's a quick fun treat, especially if you have kids. I have three, so um, my older one, he is eating uh, cheese. The other ones are too young. They're only six months, but he loves you know string cheese and we just get the you know the little ones with the the cheese and ham from walmart to uh to try out but i'd like to try different kinds of string cheese so if you have a different kind of string cheese that you like um post it in the comments below and we'll check it out so we had a great time uh at the remainder of our beach trip it was uh great weather uh the only thing was there were some riptides um but other than that we enjoyed the sand and the ocean and course I'm still in uh, beach mode as you can tell by my shirt I'm still wearing uh, the palm leaf uh, shirt going on um, but yeah we made it back uh, safe and sound uh, we came up through South Arkansas and we went across the Arkansas River it is very bad down there tons of flooding the uh, water was probably two feet from the interstate and um, it it was pretty crazy close to the bridge. They actually shut down the 540 bridge on our way back up a few hours after we went past it. So thank goodness we uh, got across it before they shut it down or it'd have been a long wait or a very long detour. We might have had to stay in South Fort Smith for a while in a place, which I'm sure everybody else is too. But just be praying and thinking about uh, the people on the Arkansas River. And if you can assist in any way with uh, sandbags or anything like that, find an organization and do that. Those people really need your help down there. Well, thanks for joining me this evening. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, this cheese has been great. Thank you, Ani, for uh, bringing this cheese to me to review. I am enjoying it and I'm going to continue to enjoy it. Um, just a, a first class cheese all the way. Um, so special thanks to Ani, um, thank you guys for, uh, for subscribing, um, if you liked the video, hit the like button, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. We'll keep bringing you fun cheeses from around the world and, um, keep this thing going, um, so all the support that you guys give, it's great. If you find any cheeses that you would like me to check out or want to share with everybody else, um, leave a comment down below and I'll try to pick them up and we'll do a review on them. You guys have a great week.